Yeah. From the first unit. So Mike, what are you planning on pacing for? Seventy guys. What's up? I'm sorry. Uh, both fourteen point one. Every runner has to pick up their own bib bag. I put myself down. Okay, it has been, sir. Have you ever done that before? Just speak about anything. Hey, uh, my job is to make funny faces behind you. All right, then we got Bodek behind me. Uh, this is my name is Mike Shigam. This is my third year doing J runners. Uh, that's three for three so far. I won the first year. I completely. I said the word I. That's a bad word. My team won the first year. It was a really, really good race by about 30 seconds, and I'm um, really, really looking forward to this race. Uh, I'm the team's captain, even though we profess to not have a captain. But um, I've been running for a long time. J Runner certainly has a lot to do with my getting faster, the camaraderie. Uh, getting everybody to push each other. I got a lot faster because there are people that run at my speed and I just want to beat them because I'm very competitive like that. But um, it's great. I just have great things to say about J-Runners so far. I hope it continues to go. And, um, yeah. everyone to the 2012 200k relay race first and foremost we have to thank our sponsors for tonight we'd like to thank of course Glotmart we'd like to thank Bubba's Bagels in Wesley Hills we'd like to thank CJV Catskill Jewish Voice of course music by the Yellow Red Sky Real Beans Coffee, Assist Ambulance, and our name sponsor, the man who's been there for us for the last few years, none other than Alan B. Hertz, PC Attorney at Law. Now all you runners have been getting an anonymous email over the last couple of weeks from an anonymous person named Dave, and we are now going to introduce you to who Dave is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest member to the J Runners family, Mr. David Lynn. Thank you. I want to start by I want to start by welcoming everyone to the 2012 J Runners uh, 200 K relay. It's great to be here. Um, those of you who don't know me, which is probably pretty much everyone with the exception of my wife and two kids that are here. Uh, and, right, that's true. And, 
um, if, if you're a runner and you've been getting some cheesy emails over the past month from Dave or Hey Dave, that's me. One of the other things that I do for J Runners is I'm in charge of the weather for the race. So by the fact that the weather's holding up now, you can thank me for that a little bit later. I'm not going to take that much of your time. I just want to give a little encouragement to the runners um, by telling you a very quick story. I'm not going to keep you for a long time. It's a story of a man who lives in Israel, and his name is Shaul Ladani. And just a few weeks ago, Shaul woke up in the morning, and he started to take a walk. And he walked for 76 kilometers. So that's a pretty decent distance. That's about more than one-third of our course, right? But he did it on his own, and he did it without teammates, and he did it non-stop. That's a pretty good distance. That's pretty amazing. But what's even more amazing is that Shaul is 76 years old. And what he does every year on his birthday, he walks the an equivalent amount of kilometers to his age. So next year, God willing, he's going to walk 77 and 78. That's pretty amazing. But what's really more amazing than that is that Shaul is a survivor. He's a survivor of the Bergen-Belsen concentration camps where he was imprisoned at the age of eight years old. He's a survivor of two wars in Israel as an artillery captain. And he's one of only a handful of survivors of the Munich Olympic massacres. He was a member of the team and he survived. And now in his mid to late 70s, he's also a survivor of cancer. So none of us here is Shaul Ladani, but Shaul makes sure that he makes every day and every hour and every step count. And each and every one of you J runners, in your own way, make every single step count over these next two days. Every step that you take sends a message. It sends a message to your community of the importance of healthy living, the importance of personal perseverance, the importance of teamwork, the importance of friendly competition, and every step you take brings awareness to the importance of the work of Kids of Courage. So, when you hit that wall, or when you get that cramp, or when you just can't handle that hill, just remember that every step you take is important, and every step you take brings you closer to your goal. I want to wish you all a great race. We'll be cheering for you, and we'll see you on the other side. Thank you. Thank you, David Lynn. Unfortunately, some of the politicians that were supposed to be here tonight could not make it, but we do want to welcome Ellie Slavin, who's a community liaison for Congresswoman Yvette Clark. Now I'd like to call up to the stage one of the co-founders of J-Runners. He's the current president of J-Runners. Please welcome to the stage, Mutti Katz. Thank you, Yasin. Great job. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the J Runners 2012 200K Relay Race presented by the Law Offices of Alan B. Hurt. As the runners gear up and get ready the final moments before their exciting 143 mile relay race, let me take this time and tell you a little bit about tonight's event and J Runners. What you are about to witness is the third 200K relay race. Our runners will start at 10 o'clock sharp. They will run down Avenue M, down to Ocean Avenue, through Crown Heights, down Flatbush Avenue, over the Brooklyn Bridge, all the way down the West Side Highway to the George Washington Bridge, through the 9W. They'll arrive in Muncie. They'll proceed through Harriman State Park, all the way up to the Catskills Mountains to Sullivan County Community College in about 20 hours from now. Or, Moshe Gams is taking about 18 The runners will be running anywhere from 10 to 40 miles each. It makes my feet hurt just thinking about it. In the past two and a half years, J Runners has put on many races, from 5K races to 143 mile races like tonight's. 
Jay Runners raised over a half a million dollars for various charities, and over 700 people have joined our races. Some ran, some jogged, and some even walked the courses with their friends and families. But Jay Runners has touched and changed the lives of so many. Some quit smoking cigarettes, others have lost a lot of weight, but overall, all are healthier because of Jay Runners. And I've definitely made a whole bunch of new friends, and we're definitely a great group. Jay Runners is also a running club recognized by the New York Road Runners as an official and very competitive running club. We actually have some points. And over the past year, and mostly in the summer months, we have weekly runs that sometimes end in people's homes, in barbecues, and evenings, and events, and sometimes we even get lucky we go for a swim. Thank you, Ellie Freeman. The J Runners 200K Relay Race is sponsored this year by Alan B. Hertz Law Offices. Alan is a man who sponsored last year's race. He's a, a he believes in the mission of J Runners. He's a good friend, and he's a good man in the community. Thank you, Alan Hertz. I also want to thank the amazing people at Glotmark for putting together and sponsoring tonight's wonderful event, and for, for, for the food, and for putting everything together. Thank you. Everything is truly amazing. And if you haven't done your shopping yet, Glotmart is still open. Definitely the best meat in Brooklyn, guaranteed. I also want to thank Meridian Capital Funding, Real Beans, Ice Coffee, Assist Ambulance Services, Bubba's Bagels, and of course, Yellow Red Sky, The Cool Jew, thank you, and everybody else who has volunteered and came out here and showed their support. Thank you. I'd also like to thank the politicians and dignitaries, Ellie Slavin, who's here with us tonight, thank you, and everybody else who's shown their support to J-Runners over the years. And everybody else, forgive me if I haven't mentioned your name previously, personally, but we, we it is because of your, gen and David Greenfield, Councilman David Greenfield, thank you very much. It's great to see you. Thank you. Thank you, David. It is because of your generous support that helps make this event possible. Thank you. And I also want to congratulate all the runners. Congratulations for all your hard work and your training that you put in. To, to join us tonight. I wish you all the best of luck. Stay safe and healthy. And to, especially to those runners who stepped out of their comfort zone and raised money for Kids of Courage and made goals and reached those goals. Five grand. She and it's five thousand dollars. Thank you. May Hashem repay you guys with for your great acts of chesed. Thank you. I also want to thank on behalf of the runners, your, your families, the wives, parents, even children who have sacrificed your quality time and allowing you to go out there. I want to thank my wife, even though she's not here, but she's my rock. And I thank her for allowing me to, to take away from our family time and for all their encouragement and support. Last but not least, I gotta say, sorry Hesky, but I want to thank my, my partner and co-founder, Hesky Rosenblum. Without Hesky, J Runners and this relay race would not be here today. Hesky, your commitment and loyalty to J Runners is outstanding. You put your heart and soul and everything on the line for J Runners. Thank you for everything. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. Have a great time and thank you for coming and showing your support. Thank you, Mati. We'd now like to call up a very distinguished councilman who's here with us tonight. A very good friend of mine for many years. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Councilman David Greenfield. By the way, that's the only guy I'm afraid of in my life because he has photos of me from when I was a kid. So hopefully, Mr. Sharp will never blackmail me. Listen, I just want to say congratulations to everyone. It's a great event. Really great to see so many people. I love what J Runners does, the physical fitness. 
how people are getting out there. I think Kids for Courage is an amazing organization, volunteer run, really deserves the support. And listen, I'm just happy to say that I'm watching tonight and not running, because I'm not quite in shape yet, but I'm definitely getting inspired. So congratulations. I'm sure it's going to be a great race. Have a great time, and uh, we'll see everybody in the Catskills tomorrow. Thank you, David Greenfield. I still have the photos. We will now be taking a short 15-minute break. We will then conclude tonight with introductions of has been part of J-Runner since the beginning. He is an inspiration to me in some ways, some ways not. Ladies and gentlemen, my former teammate from last year, Mr. Yisrael Pupko. Hello everybody, very exciting evening over here. As the third year, third year. Hey everybody, shout out to everybody here. You should all be proud of yourselves. Um, this year we have a very special, youngest, the youngest runner out of the whole clan here, we have a 13 year old boy who just uh, trained himself, but we can't even call him a boy, he's a man, he's staying up all night running. Yonatan, he's the youngest runner, right there, he's raising his hand here in the spot here, youngest runner, 13 years old. If I was running when I, like he is when I was 13, I'd be faster than you, Mattel. <laughs> Everyone have a blast, this is rock hard. Thank you, you saw Pupko. Thank you. Um, very pleased to be here, uh, third year in a row for the for the 200K relay. A lot of the runners have done it both years, and uh, many have done it one other year. 
So uh, it's a testament to how much fun this is and the commitment that they, everybody puts into it, including their families. I just want to go over a few things first. Brooklyn Bridge is closed for uh, traffic. Uh, most of the cap all the captains know about that, but I just want to, for general knowledge, Brooklyn Bridge is closed. So the Manhattan Bridge is your next, uh, probably your best choice after say, that. Say runners should take the bridge. Runners should take the bridge. Runners, uh, obviously, will still take the bridge. A pedestrian path is open. It's only the vehicles that the Brooklyn Bridge is closed. A uh, couple of rules without going into too many of them. No headphones. Uh, this year, again, it's for safety. We care about your safety a lot. Right side of the road running. Exchange 10 to 17. Must be on the right side of the road. Um, while you're running. That's normally the opposite of what we normally do, but that's um, for safety reasons. 10 to 17, right side. Nighttime gear, vest, headlight, and reflective light in the back must be worn up until exchange 11. Again, obviously safety reasons. Okay. Um, Really, the main thing is I just want you, all the runners, to be aware of your environment. Who's coming up behind you? Who's, who's driving erratically in front of you? Is there a pothole here? Most of the roads you don't know intimately. We want you safe. So be aware of your surroundings. For the first time runners, be aware that you might want to control your pace a little bit. You're normally used to running one session uh, per day of running three, five, six, eight miles. This time you're doing it three times. So be aware of your pace. You might want to be conservative in the first one. If you're running more than three legs, be very cautious and aware of what you're really doing in terms of your pace. You, you want to be able to go th all throughout. I want you to enjoy the competition, the camaraderie. Volunteers, recognize them. They've done a tremendous amount of work on this thing and they will do so. Thank you. Ian, enjoy the scenery. Very, very beautiful on this course. And uh, I want to wish good luck to everybody. Have a fun and safe event. And thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Mark, I'd like to call up to the stage international known music sensation, the one and only Shia Rubinstein. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Thank you, David. Councilman David. Let's give it up for uh, yellow, red sky. Red, yellow, red sky. Yellow, red sky. We're going to sing the national anthem. If you know it, please sing along. Oh, oh say, can you see?
20 seconds. You guys be very excited in the air. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's get the time out. Come on.